decided to finally leave. She tortured me. Finally decided to file for divorce and separation. When we had our first child in September 2020, my wife changed dramatically. The first few months were challenging for both of us, as they are for most couples. Her a little more with PPD and our LO was having colic. It began to improve as we settled into a routine, and by month six, she was messaging her ex and concealing the fact that he had stayed over while I paid for her to take a trip to give herself a break. I had to coax it out of her, and she assured me that nothing had occurred. At this moment, I should have fled. I assumed she was burdened with taking care of a child after that, so I took the child a lot more so she could go skiing, camping, and so on, none of which was provided to me. In my mind, I needed to assist my PPD spouse more. The ex reappeared, and she wanted to restart the relationship so she could enjoy the amazing she used to have. F up again, I attempted to work with her to find a solution. The open relationship did not take place. Months later she said that I was not a supporting spouse and that she wanted an open relationship once again, or she would file for divorce. I tried to convince her that this was a poor idea, that we should go to counseling and speak about other choices. This ultimatum was refused and pushed by her. So we started dating, and she ended up sleeping with two strange men. She stated she wanted to have the she had with those randoms with me after I told her I was done and wanted to split. Whatever, I gave it one more go at the relationship, but after months of bitterness and awful visualizations of her emotionally and physically cheating on me for a year, I quit up. I'd want to file for divorce. Now we're talking about money, she wants me to fund her while she's a psalm for our child. I married a narcissistic selfish person, and I despise myself for a variety of reasons. I feel inadequate, stupid for marrying for such selfish reasons, ignorant for attempting to make this work for so long, and now susceptible to losing my funds and getting kicked in spousal support slash child support. Edit. Many thanks to everyone who has been encouraging. Please show some compassion to the rest of us. I understand what you're saying. You don't have to be impolite about it. Story 2. I want to divorce my wife, sell my house, and start over. But, some of this may seem rambling, but I'm using voice to text and I'm a terrible tale teller, so please bear with me. So where do I start? I suppose I'll begin at the beginning. My wife and I met nine years ago via a mutual acquaintance. She didn't have a job and was fighting to maintain a shabby apartment with her stepfather, who rarely worked. She also had no schooling beyond a high school certificate, a shabby vehicle on borrowed time, and no employment skills. At the time, she was 22 and I was 34. Our life was fine back then, albeit a little boring. I expected this to alter, but we get to it shortly. I essentially took her under my wing and encouraged her to continue her employment search. She filled out a few applications here and there, but she had a general negative attitude about it, arguing that she would never find anything since she lacked an education and experience. I found an opening for a position at Bed Bath and Beyond and pushed her to apply, and she ended up obtaining the job. She then continued to fold towels and tidy shelves for three years as I stood behind her advising her to keep seeking for something better since she received a dollar at one zero rise during that time. It ultimately came to a head when she came home many times unhappy about work. I essentially had to issue an ultimatum that if she would not find another work and relocate away from BBB, I would leave her. We had just married, and I was the only one producing any type of money. I wanted to get out of our squalid apartment, better our life, and purchase a home. I knew she had a great work ethic. When it came to her job, whatever it was at the time, so I assisted her in finding a better job at a window tint and graphic design company, running the front desk and answering calls and after five years of working that job and working her way up to manager of the business, she was at the end of her rope dealing with the owners and the rampant nepotism that caused friction throughout the company. Aside from the fact that her job atmosphere made her unhappy and grumpy all the time, she had to work every single Saturday, which meant we couldn't go anywhere or do anything, and I spent all of the Saturdays at home taking care of our apartment slash house and her child. When we met, she had a two-year-old daughter who is now 11 years old, and I had my own struggles with her. I've attempted to set penalties and guidelines for the child throughout the years, but
but I'm constantly rejected and minimized by my wife. My authority as a stepparent is constantly being challenged, and I have told my wife several times that if we do not put our foot down and stick to our guns, the child may get out of control as she grows older, and I'm already seeing symptoms of this. I eventually persuaded my wife to seek for another job within the firm I work for in a different department, and she got it and has been doing really well for the last year. Our life has never been amazing, and it has mostly consisted of vaginal intercourse, and that's about it. I used to go down on her all the time, but I stopped since she never returned the favor, and I guess I've had maybe a dozen in nine years. I've tried everything to line things up and get her involved, but I'm coming to understand that she's simply a bland and uninteresting person, and this is one of my major issues. She is completely uninterested in anything. It doesn't seem to matter what work she has. She always comes home in a foul attitude, and he's almost impossible to approach with a regular discussion. I've gotten to the point where I seldom see her in the evenings, which makes me think our marriage is finished. She comes home every day and does nothing except smoke pot and watch videos on her phone. She began begging for a pottery wheel around six years ago, claiming that if I gave her one, she would get into it. We've lived in our home for nearly five years, and purchasing this required me to continuously push her to solve credit concerns, and it was all a headache since she didn't want to do anything. Back to the pottery wheel, I looked up how to construct one on you too and spent a lot of time in my garage attempting to put her one together out of a ceiling fan motor and some other materials. It came together and ran rather well, but the motor lacked power, so I scratched it and broke down and paid $600 to get her a good tiny one to get her started. I also created a lovely space in our basement for her, complete with additional lighting, storage, a throw table, and a table for her pottery wheel. I purchased the pottery wheel two years ago, and she has only used it once. Every day remains the same and never changes. She arrives home in a terrible mood, smokes marijuana, and checks her phone. She has no interest in anything, and it is beginning to annoy me. After all these years, I expected her to come around and maybe something would ignite her interest, but she didn't. When it comes to cleaning and yard work, I honestly have to state that I do roughly 80% of the work inside the home and 90% of the work outside the house. The only time she does anything is when I complain, and I really don't want it to come to that. She knows I prefer my kitchen clean, and she knows I like my home to be at least somewhat tidy. I'm not foolish when it comes to these things. I simply believe we can tidy up after ourselves and use the vacuum cleaner every now and then. It would also be fantastic if she would do more in the kitchen, but this is a struggle I've been waging for so long that I now do it alone. I also do the majority of the cooking. I've also realized throughout the years that I have a continual want to please her and make her happy since that's the kind of person I am, and I've been hoping for a long time that she would start doing the same. She has her moments, but she is largely concerned with herself. Her priorities in life are her job, her kid, her cannabis, her Jeep, her friends, and watching on her phone in no particular order. I don't feel like I belong anywhere, and this has to be the loneliest marriage ever. I'm unhappy and sad, and I have no one to speak to about it. I'm 42 years old and have no family other than the family I gained via marriage. I have a nice work and a reasonable income, but if I sell this property and get divorced, I would be homeless. It's extremely unfortunate since I like this home and have put a lot of effort into it and I don't want to go. In an ideal world, she would just take her daughter and go, but that is not going to happen. After nine years, I'm beginning to understand that she's not going to change because I'm hopelessly optimistic. She doesn't care about me, and as far as I'm concerned, she may as well despise me. I don't want anybody reading this to misinterpret what I'm saying, so I'll say it now. I've struggled with drinking, and I'm an insecure person since my previous wife cheated on me many times. But over the past several years, I've been trying very hard to better myself and change in the hopes that it may inspire my wife to do the same. But, once again, nothing. I'm weary and worn out, and I'm afraid I'm too old to start afresh. Sorry if this comes off as a rant, rambling, or otherwise badly written. I am not a writer, and I believe I am the only adequately expressed adult who failed creative writing in college. I'm at my wit's end and don't know what to do. I feel like there's no simple solution, no way out, 
and no way to change my wife. I feel like since we met, I've improved her life, stood by her side, and pushed her to always develop and be better, and I don't think she appreciates it or treats me with the respect and love that I deserve. Sincerely, he's a lost cause.